and they get Impact uh, rolling to the Trinity Force, you know, to the Tiamat uh, here on the Camille so that he gets to add that split push threat, whereas FlyQuest... 250 in, Azale was actually able to chat with Card. Hang on, looks like there actually may be a gank in the mid lane. Jensen exhausted straight up. Here comes Moon. He gets ex oh. exhaust straight away. And FlyQuest comes up with kill number one. They got to be feeling good about that. I actually want to find out. And mid lane. And FlyQuest did focus very heavily on that. Right now, though, prepping the dive on balls. He's going to go ward and get stunned. Oh, deja vu from last game. Fever and, you know, going semi-tanky where you're a bit bruisery with Hexstringer and stuff. Okay, builds are going to have to wait because they're going after balls again. And both junglers are coming to come, too. Oh, Contrax is in. They're going to be out real quick on this one. Kill going in for impact. Moon cannot get in to help on this. Lost track of Contrax. Time that the Rengar ultimate comes off cooldown, but Contrax actually sitting in. He wants to get the free jump out of the bush. Should be all right. Bullet in, shot blast there. Trying to deliver, but they said, ah, okay, you can't get to it. I'll get the kill. Flash down for high as well. So fortunate that the rotation came in. Well, contracts it actually jumps for it. Whoa. Minions are there. Doesn't want to take too much. It's going to be the jump in from Impact. Contracts just gets out with his life. Is there a finalizing Woo! kill? Oh, it's over the shoulder. Pie to the face of balls. Purchase. If they can actually force a fight on these purchases, then it might be worth it. Oh, they want him. Oh, it flashes out of the shockwave. That could easily be a 2v1 for him for the moment. Jensen actually taking a lot of damage from the shockwave dissonance on the backside. He did not miss it. Oh, they forced it all right, but it was into a waiting fly quest. As we said, they're looking for this counter initiation, and the flashes expended there. Fly quests come out ahead. Contracts Ooh. and Jensen not able to burst the target first. Impact will be able to answer at least one. His <laughs> eyes. I just gotta farm this canyon. Give me the give me the get cannon. Yeah. So still Pinch fly. Balls is so far away. You know, I go for it. Teleporting in, he's just gonna be above the team. The equalizer could lay down mid, but he's being chased by Jensen. Everything's in defense here for Fly Quest. Forward goes Jensen. Exhaust goes down. It looks like Fly pulls off. That's a super weird call from Fly Quest for as to do to stop that is try and force something, but. The tools that FlyQuest have yep. to force something are pretty limited. And as we've seen, if, if you miss your Shockwave, if you miss it uh, with the Kha'Zix Ultimate, then you got nothing left. Here they go for a Flash Shockwave instead. Once in, they hit Sneaky. They got him. It's about pulling the trigger. It only becomes harder when you show them that initiation the first time, so you got to do Snap Judgment the second time. I says I'll do it myself, but even with that kill... Even if they wanted to with the with the split push pressure. Right now, Jensen's not showing, though, and there goes Impact! Locks in Moon. Impact in a 5v1 right now. Yeah. He'll be coming back up. Contracts is there. They got to be careful of the Equalizer. It's still burning down. Two in the Shockwave. Moon goes in. He's able to clear one out. Two of these gets just far enough away. The reset in. The reset out. And Moon gets himself some great kills. The team's going to follow the ball oh, here. Cook and Tom Jensen. They were waiting. It was the split push plays, but can Cloud9 collapse from the lanes to get the kill? <laughs> Jensen, Eagle Eye onto Lemonation on the back line. Sneaky with very low mana, still firing in the team. Lemonation put it just on the outside. Equinox to lock somebody down. They lock out an impact, actually, as he comes in. Two shot barrage through the team. High gets hit with the bola. Can he stay alive? Oh! Needs to deliver the shockwave for the team. Equalizer goes down. Boss on the forefront, overheating. So he's getting slammed through the minions. Can't do too much as he can oh, actually my change word. the state of the game. Impact. Baron getting burned. Impact mid. He's starting to come back. It's only half HP. Smoothie's there. Looking for contracts. He's over uh -oh. at Blue Ruff. Too far away. To the skies, Jensen. If he goes in, it's going to be a hit for the steal. Uh -huh. Contracts just on the edge. Baron goes to Jensen in Cloud9. And they start to wipe down Fly. It's one of those situations. Fly quest, but like, they were just running out of options, and they wanted to take a small window here, but it wasn't enough. Cloud9 can collapse. There were no CDs left for FlyQuest nope. inside the Baron. C9 had all respawned, and that is going to be the game. 38 minutes in. What a back and forth after C9 knew they weren't just going to find their way into the base with the split push. FlyQuest holding them off, and one final fight at the Baron. Fly finally broke and took the chance. Cloud9 Take the victory. Game one to Cloud9 over FlyQuest.
Flint Flush wears on you, man. As the players like yeah. to say, that can be damaging to your mental. <laughs> Split push for, you know, a consistent 15, 20 minutes really wears on your nerves. Being in that high state of awareness for so long right. and knowing that you have to keep on playing with fire, you have to keep on making these. So we'll see. We'll see now because this is one of the more interesting games. Last game, I'm like, all right, both junglers are going to be top <laughs> triangle because bottom lane is snooze fast. But this no. Let's Hard. go. Hard. Oh. Nice ball move. Impact, <laughs> impact, has to blow flash. Oh, he actually didn't flash that far. Uh, he's still slowed by the exhaust. That's why he exhausts early here in the level one fights. Levination, no hesitation. You're a team that made the move. Uh oh, bottom, here it is. What we've been waiting for. Nautilus is in. Depth charge isn't far enough now. Impact still has a way to go. True shot barrage, one last attack. It's going to be going over to Smoothie to start things off for them. They follow up. There's the kill for Sneaky, and Contracts just stays alive as Impact takes aggro. The exact play. And their first goal is uh, the standing goal that's pretty open. They actually just now get it, but Altec takes a good chunk. Oh. Open up on the curtain. He actually can't get out of this one. Nicely placed. Ooh, collateral damage. They didn't communicate that one. Could have taken out Sneaky a little faster, but who cares? They get him anyways. 30 seconds on the death timers here. We'll see how long balls can stay alive. Never moves. Oh, but gets Oh, contact on me. He can slalom the minion, start getting healed from that as well. And he should stay alive. Look, he's not even 50% mono right now. Uh, Impact may not have the damage to make this happen before it, he gets back. It's going to take a while, but Balls doesn't have anywhere to go. So. Oh, he's still by the brush. <laughs> nice dodge on the never move. Just getting out. That could mean the big difference. And there it is. Vision advantage. Jensen on a ward. Hatching that one. <laughs> uh, it's actually one of the few wards that FlyQuest had up. Those teleports happen either consistently setting up that security vision. Oh, Lemon! Right out of Jensen again. Holy. He just came back. But yeah, Lemon Nation gets squeezed out on that one. 30 seconds was, for him. Uh, aggressive. <laughs> Counter now. Contract's very, very low. He actually has the dot on him as well. He's got to be careful, careful for war damage coming in. Impact and Jensen flashes forward. Oh. Goes for it. All tech finds his target. Contracts gets out with a sliver of health, baiting in more attacks. Sneaky ults on the never move. Gets zeroed out on that. Smoothie very low as well as impact. And Fly was really able to just group up, continue the damage. And like we said, these are going to be longer fights. Balls is going to live for a while and be on that front line. 4v5 as he can maybe throw a bowl up. Regardless, now it's a Baron initiation. Ooh, and it does not look good for Fly right now. Contracts picks up balls, takes him down. Oh Contracts my! And now, actually, the kill coming in. Nice flash by Moon. They keep him alive. High trying Four to get it. Moon's in the right. He fires the ult backwards for what would have been a true grid over the wall. Gets the smite. They get out with Baron. And that was close. Ah. Into the fight, but it's going to be the big minion wave they move over to try and capitalize on. Cloud9 activating immediately with Scatter the Weak. Oh, They're on to Impact. And they still have the turret to fight behind. It has about negative one. Yep. If Fly can actually get a fight. There he goes. Oh, if C9 can get a fight here, they'll be stopping Fly very nicely. The turret's all behind Cloud9, about 600 or less HP. So this would be a huge fight now resulting in Cloud9's favor. Balls is going to be next. That True Shot Barrage hitting nicely through two members of the team. And a double kill coming in for Jensen. That's high and Lemon Nation down with balls as well. Uh, Impact should be able to. Oh, oh wow! Stand they... still. Yeah. Don't move. You usually want to have it running when you zone is on the front line, so you still have threat. Jensen has to dodge here, though. Oh! oh! He went to flash the end of the line, a collateral, and the shot from Curtain Call. Yeah. Not much you can do about a wombo like that. Great job by Altec holding on. Be damned. And they may pull off for the fight. Watch it's the gonna shock be Balls taking a lot of damage. He needs to get the heal up here. He could easily be a focus. Impact gets absolutely shredded as the tankiest one on the team. And that means C9 has to look scared here. Oh, Sneaky in. Sneaky with the flash what? in. No, we know the results of the flash in. Sneaky does his damnness to stay alive now. There's the shields. Great job by Smoothie and the rest of the team to keep him alive. Shockwave now onto Contracts as he goes down. There's your arcade step forward. Nine. <laughs> Get the fight lost there. Three down for them. Jensen just came back up. 
Fly is low, and Baron has fully Oh, feet. it's still touch and go! Jensen won't have time. We've seen the Glitterland steal, and a Mystic Shot can do the same. Too many members oh. in front. That's the Baron for high, and the team, FlyQuest, make it out alive with us. They're just sticking with five members Ooh. mid. They throw down Beatrice onto Impact, slows him down. That's the ultimate okay. coming in from Lemon. Contracts looking for an over-the-wall jump. Whoa! Onto balls. He actually didn't find the target he wanted. Nice true shot for Raj. Sneaky goes forward, picks up the first kill of the fight. Lemon Nation gets back. He is very low, and Cloud9 eat a shockwave coming in from high that settles the fight a little bit. Jensen gets the hit, the shield on him, keeps him alive. And he didn't go down to the end of the line as it comes back. And the team set up to take impact down. Can they shred him? The continuous lockdown as they layer the crowd control. The curtain call will be for him. I don't know how he can dodge his Nautilus. The last shot oh. will take him down. Sometimes I think that thing just weighs him down. 39 <laughs> minutes on the clock. They're going to be going for Elder Drake on the side of FlyQuest. All right, Contracts might go for a steal here. Or actually, C9 move in to contest. Balls, very nice job on the front oh. line, but he gets shredded. The Sonyas for the ultimate of Jensen. Pulls it out, baits it in, and they take him down. Impact and Jensen now waiting to get back up as FlyQuest start to take every... Still ticking for a little bit longer. Pull in, three-man oh. depth charge, and it looks like the damage is going to be over. Now on to Alltech. Down high was already dropped at the beginning of the fight as Lemon Nation is a focus. Jensen soloing balls on the bottom side towards mid lane, and he may be able to drop the last Q. He will not. The hammer doesn't follow. Balls and Moon get out alive. Oh. Cloud9 has been waiting for it's gone. All right. We see Cloud9. Right. Over or towards used Baron. Teleport used as well. This sucker is dead. Look at that burn. <laughs> no chance, Baron. No chance. Whoa, flash in, Lemonation's the hit. If they can clear out Lemonation, that means a lot of the crowd control here is gone besides that ultimate from high. He's forced to flash, throws back the dissonance to hopefully slow the aggression of Cloud9, but they have bought time. They held their breath. They got the fight they wanted in the mid lane inhibitor, and I think they may have just closed it out on FlyQuest. Oh, yes, they have. Baron there for C9, plus they jump on FlyQuest as soon as they come through the jungle. And that is going to be an end to the series. What an exciting game number two, though. Pretty back and forth. Very back and forth. We are going to see one hell of a series here coming in for the rematch, but it will be Cloud9 taking the 2-0 in the end over FlyQuest. And FlyQuest had previously gotten two Barons and an Elder Dragon, but not able to win a team fight in Cloud9. Strike back when it really matters. Defend inside their inhibitor door, and then immediately into that barren play, and game over. 2-0 series there for C9. You can almost kind of look at uh, a no initiation factor, a no sure way to get into these fights to say, when we did have that lead, we did have that Baron, we were still trying to play off catches, but Cloud9's not gonna approach that fight. They know it's a loss, and it was kind of, looking for a teleport, or as we saw, <laughs> do everything he can.